Yo, yeah, I know what time it is. It's like... There's a noise. Freedom. Maybe. Believe. My vision. Well, hello there. You are listening to Society Bites Radio, and I'm your host today, Jill Krieger, and this is the SRQ exclusive radio show. And we are a group of professionals and business people in the Sarasota area who pride ourselves in bringing together professionals who are passionate about helping local businesses prosper through making connections with other businesses and their ideal clients, both locally and nationwide. And today I am excited to bring you Darcy Jacob, who is the owner of Panache. Welcome, Darcy. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing on this beautiful day in paradise? I am great. Thank you for asking. (laughs) So um, we're going to get into um, what Panache is and, and all of that in just a little bit, but I want people to know who Darcy is to start with. So can you just give us a little background on, you know, where are you from and, and um, then we'll get into some fun stuff. Um, Okay. So um, I um, um, used to run um, Cache here in Sarasota, Florida. I was there for 20 years. Um, I, uh, have a degree in fashion merchandising. I went to college in Peoria, Illinois, love, love, love fashion. Um, I guess that's it. <laughs> Where are you from, Darcy? You from Sarah? Originally I'm from, um, Ahonaka, Hawaii, believe it or not. Uh, traveled extensively throughout the United States. My, uh, dad would move around a lot. So, you know, he'd, he'd move the family. Um, I've lived in. I don't know, 20 different states, and um, uh, uh, met my husband in Las Vegas um, He when I used to live there, and uh, he brought me to Sarasota, Florida. I'm glad he did. I'm just def- definitely a lucky person who uh, found you, so that's really cool. Um, <laughs> so, um, you know what, I bet some people don't even know what panache is. So Panache is a woman's clothing store. Um, it's similar to Cache, but yet different because I can wardrobe everybody. You know, Cache used to be just for the smaller woman, but this um, I can wardrobe size zero to size whatever. I you know, like if if I have a um, a size 16 or size 20 woman come in and she wants a special occasion outfit or. Um, you know, a pair of capris or um, Bermudas, I call the vendor and I get it for her. That's awesome, that customer service, which is so lacking in today's world. I agree. Yeah. So what made you open up Panache? I mean, I don't know if everybody knows Cache. Some of us do. Cache um, was, was it worldwide Cache? I know it was all over the United States. Yes, it, it was. It was similar to a White House black market, but it was better. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Um, so um, I carry um, um, better sportswear, um, uh, Bermudas, capris, um, day dresses, some um where to work, um, and then uh, cocktail and evening gowns. Gorgeous evening gowns, absolutely. So what have yes, you... Yes, I know somebody that got married in one of them. <laughs> 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 Me too, really personally. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what have, why did you open Panache? Well, um, so when I was in college, I can remember writing my, um, my thesis, 
Um, and, and it was all about what I wanted to do. And, you know, I've always wanted to own my own little clothing store. But, of course, you know, you're young and you don't know what's going on. Um, and I worked um, at different chain stores throughout the United States. And, um, you know, it was like, um, well, the, the first store I started at was Brooks. And it was just, it was very, very corporate. Now, Cache was not, even though it was corporate, it was like a small town feel. Um, it was like a mom and pop. So I, I really, really like that. So that's what I wanted. You know, I, I want um, a little bit of corporate, but I want to be able to bring the small town feel into, you, you know, like sort of like a, you know, Cheers. You remember that, yeah. you, you know, where everybody knows your name. So when people come into Panache, I want my girls to know them. I want them to, to you know, call them by name and, you know. Absolutely. And, and that's definitely the feeling that you get in Panache. What do you think your biggest accomplishment has been so far? Um, honestly, opening it and keeping it open. It's, it's uh, a lot of balls in the air. The, the one thing I did have to learn when I went, even though I thought I knew what the client wanted, was learning what the client wanted. It's, it's different when you own your own place. You know, everything's on your shoulders. But it's fun, too. It's very rewarding. I bet. I bet. Um, and why do you love your – I mean, I know how much you love it. When you walk into your store, Darcy, you always have a huge smile on your face, and you're always greeting everybody with the best. What is it that you love most? Um, it's not a job. It's, you know, if you if you wake up every morning and you're excited about going – starting your day and you know i i just i i love it i mean there's nothing better than what i do i think you know um i just i love it there's i i just i love it it's it's hard to to ex, to explain i mean when so when a woman comes out and she's looking for that perfect dress and she comes out of that dressing room and her her face is is all aglow you know i mean nothing better nothing and then I get the pictures um, when, when they go to their event and they send me pictures and they're just like, oh, my goodness, thank you so much. You know, I mean, nothing better. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's when you feel good about what you're wearing and you feel good in it. Yep. It makes such a huge difference. So let's talk about some styles and colors. What's coming up? What do we have looking forward to? Well, when I was at Market, um, and I'm going again to Market uh, the end of this month, but there's a lot of animal, a lot of animal influence, which it really never went out of style. It's always been there, but it's it's very big um, for fall. Also, browns. I haven't seen a lot of browns um, the last couple years, but browns and khakis seem to be back. Blue is always very big. Um, and, of course, black, everyone's staple. Um, but yeah, so a lot of animal cold shoulder is still in, still very big off the shoulder. It's all about that shoulder. Guess we got to make sure we keep those shoulders nice and soft, huh? Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a glow, a little bit of a, <laughs> a little glitz. People, you know, they little can't... sparkle. I knew that was going to come in there. A little spark sparkle. <laughs> <still gonna be. laughs> Nothing better than sparkle. <laughs> um, you know, I, people don't know a lot about this, but all of the philanthropy that you do, how do you utilize your store and your expertise in helping our community? Uh, well, I like doing, uh, I do do um, a lot of fashion shows and, um, you know, stuff like that, women's groups, et cetera, so forth. But I really love giving back to the community. Um, I just, I, I think it's, it's something that everybody needs to do if you're able. Um, even, um, I, my son, when he was younger, we would always, um, donate our time. You know, we didn't have a lot of money, so we donate our time. Um, so I still try and do that. I'm a member of, um, Spark, um, the treasure chest. I do their fashion show, Sparkle on the Runway. Um, I'm a member of Big Brothers Big Sisters. I'm their fashion um, show also. Um, so anytime I can do anything 
with the public, I do, or, you know, to give back. I just, I think everybody should. I mean, yeah, you know. Absolutely. So um, would that be something for people to also contact you about of, you know, I've got some charity coming up. Um, what does that look like to you? Say, I'm sorry, Jill, I didn't hear you. I said, what, is it, what does it look like? Does, do people just, you know, they have a charity event, they have something going on, they contact you. What does it look like? Oh, yes. How do yes. you make it I'm so that? sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just co- contact me. They're welcome to call on my personal cell. They can call me at the store. Um, I love doing as many fashion shows as I can possibly do. And sometimes if um, I do fashion shows or like a sip and shop in the store or something like that, I donate um, – 10% back to that charity. So like I'll provide um, champagne or wine and um, for like a girl's night and I'll donate. And so like you can invite 20 of your closest friends, come in and shop. I'll have champagne, wine, little appetizers, and um, I'll donate of uh, that day sales. I'll donate 10% back to your charity, your charity of, you know, the charity of your choice. Oh, that's awesome. So I hope you're all hearing that because Darcy loves to give back. And if you haven't been to a sip and shop, you should. Um, I, I'm going to ask you this question. I know you're not going to, you didn't put it down here, but um, a lot of men don't always love going shopping with their wives. And some <laughs> do. So how do you do, how do you handle that? So I have my own little man cave in the back. Um it's in the back in the dress department. I provide beer and wine to the men. I don't have a TV yet. That's on the on next year's list. Um, but the the women will go in the dressing room and try the clothes on, come out and give their husbands a little fashion show. Or if um, couples are shopping together, the two husbands sit in the in the um, on the comfy chair in the man cave and you know just enjoy and talk and you know just relax. I had to put that in there. I've seen so many gentlemen sitting in the back, and and uh, it's amazing they're sitting amongst the glitter. That well, and I was voted best man chair in Sarasota. You were. I didn't even. I was. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, ladies. Bring your men, and they won't be upset. <laughs> and they there might you go. Pay for it for you, right? <laughs> That's it. That is so funny. What are the other things? Um, the old time service. So let's talk a little bit about that because I think that it's it's really missing, and that's something that I know that you really give. The the what? I'm sorry, Jill. Old time service of what people, you know, what can people expect? You know, you go into a department store now, and it's like maybe the people know what's in the store. Um, I just, like I, well, I said earlier, I want my girls to really get to know the women that come into the store. You know, I I invite them into, that's my home, that I am there more than I am at home. I want you to feel like you are, I'm inviting you into my home. I want you to relax, enjoy yourself. My girls ask questions and I ask questions on what you're looking for. If you just want to browse, please just browse. But if you're coming in for something special, you know, I'm looking for um, a a little cover-up for a beach or, uh, you know, to go to the beach. Or I'm looking for the perfect evening gown. Or I'm looking for a pair of white capri. You know, they listen and they suggest and they look at at you and they they can judge what size you are and, and, you know, what you need or, you know, what you want. That that's something I I'm very proud of um, my team for. They're they're really they they know what they're doing. Yeah. And how about that that other piece there of that honest feedback if it doesn't necessarily look good on them? Um, they I want them to tell them you know because you are the client is representing us. So if you go out and you're not looking good. You know, people are going to be like, hmm, where did you get that? Or if you're looking great, oh, where did you get that? You know, so if you're not looking good, if, if it's not right, I don't want the girl sending you out. Please suggest something else. You know, ah, that color doesn't look that good. Or, you know, let, let's try this instead. Or, you know, something not like make, that. Yeah, not making them feel bad, but going, hmm, maybe there's a better option. Correct. Correct. 
Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And, um, you know, and a couple of things I didn't ask, I didn't think we finished up with the fashion show. 